There we go. Chipotle grill, yes. We made it, Cordy. There he is, Cordell, my head trainer, good buddy. Back for week number two of what to eat to gain muscle and lose fat. We got such a good response last week that we decided to do it again. And here we go, I got a new creation. It's a monstrosity of a burrito. It's got rice on it. I combined three different types of meats, chicken, barbacoa beef, and shredded pork. So I combined the three together. My buddy said it tasted exceptional. I like the idea of getting a more broad range of amino acids. And the key here is, um, I gotta watch it or else I'll get fat really fast if I eat too much rice, too much bread. And the key is that we did an intense leg workout today, so our body needs those carbs. So that's the key. You get to eat those carbs if you time them at the right time. That's one of my tips of the day. And the other tip was I, uh, a more broad range of amino acids. So I got pork, beef, and chicken all combined together. In the two meals after the intense workout, that's when you need the carbohydrates shuttled in. So depending on your goals and what body type you have and your present body uh, composition, you need to really learn how to do that. It's not a tough thing. If you just follow this video series, I know I can teach you. But I gotta watch your all so I'll get really fat really fast. And I, I put in the starchy carbs, the rices, the potatoes, the oatmeal, the pastas. I put those in bananas in minimal amounts in the two to three meals after intense workouts. So if I don't do an intense weight training test session, I pretty much stay away and just combine a protein and a uh, veggie type carb. Salads, green beans, uh, vegetables, and an apple fits right in there really nice. So there's my tips of the week. I hope you can see me because I don't know if you can see me. But anyway, there's my tip. And uh, while Cordell talks a little bit, I'm going to dive into this baby. Look at that. Woo! That is huge. But it's not going to go there because I just did an intense workout. So, Cordy. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to mention too before Cordy goes is uh, I put a little lime in my water, a couple lemons, I'm sorry. Squeeze them, and I put a little, a half a packet of uh, the artificial sweetener in there, and that's not going to kill me. It's only a half a packet once or twice a week. Artificial sugar is not going to kill you, but um, don't overdo it. Don't get five and six packets going a day and uh, get addicted to it. So, uh, drink water mostly uh, versus uh, liquid calories in other forms, especially pop, of course. So there you go. That's enough. I'm blabbering. So Cordell, um, Cordell uh, is a, a skinny guy growing up, right, Cordy? Yes. Um, six foot six, how much did you weigh before you started learning how to train and eat? Uh, six six, probably about 168 or so, 169. Six six, holy yeah. shit. And as you can see, yes, he is a black man. <laughs> Someone said on my video last week, wow, Cordell is brown. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know where that comment from, but yeah, Cordell is black or brown, whatever. Um, so anyway, Cordy, what's a couple things that you've been doing in the last couple years that seem to help? Gain muscle and lose fat as far uh, as nutrition. Yeah, so on, uh, like heavy leg days, like getting stuff like this, I'll even eat um, some bread while I do uh, my intense workouts. I lean on pastas a lot, uh, lean fillet, chicken, turkey, uh, fish, just eating just like you said, small and often, and uh, just combining those uh, carbs and uh, those proteins together all day. Cool, so everyone's busy. Uh, what's a, a thing or two that you can do that? Um, helps you eat every two and a half hours, right? Two and yes, a half, you have to? Two and a half. And it's not a perfect world. You don't get it done every week, right? No. Um, but you got to work on it. You got to bring food from home. You always got to leave food out. Order double when you go out. I think Cordy ordered a double over there. Look at that. That's probably what he's going to eat in a couple hours. Or that might be for the wife. Hi, Allie. <laughs> so anyway, you got to plan ahead. That's a big point, right? That's right. Cool. So there you go. There is our uh, Chipotle lesson of the day and there's a couple guys over there i don't know if you should shave your heads uh, like those guys but anyway those guys work out how you doing good you guys got any nutrition tips for these guys wanting to gain muscle and lose fat you know if you get them on whole food is better than any supplement you're ever gonna buy Eat, eating whole food i like it it's better than whey protein yeah make sure spend your money on real food not yeah. supplements right yeah that's a pretty good, damn good point i forgot your name there. Dan. thanks dan i appreciate yep. it how about your buddy any any tips 50 grams of protein every two and a half hours. There you go. It's different for everyone. If you're a big guy lifting intense, I'd probably have to agree with him. You know, if you're a smaller guy around 175 um, and lifting medium intensity to low intensity, maybe bring it down to 40. You know, 120 to 130 pound guy or a gal, maybe 25 to 30 grams per meal every two and a half to three hours. It's a lot simpler than you think, guys, right? You got to get your carbs in there, too. You want to get that mass. Absolutely. Got to get the carbs in too. Thanks, fellas. We'll meet you back here next Saturday, all right? Okay. Cool. So there you go. There's our Chipotle. I don't think you can see the sign. Chipotle Mexican Grill video of the week. Yeah, we're a little crazy. 